Now we know what's transpulmonary pressure. It's the difference between alveolar pressure and intrapleural pressure. What's the importance of this transpulmonary pressure? This is the lung. And as you said, alveolar pressure is an expanding force and intrapleural pressure is an, um, a collapsing force. So the more transpulmonary pressure, that means there is more expanding forces and decrease TP that means more collapsing forces that will lead us to this conclusion that increase in transpulmonary pressure will lead to increase in lung volume or size or another term we call this is inflation and the opposite decrease transpulmonary pressure will lead to decrease lung volume and the other name for this is deflation I want to reinforce that inflation or deflation not necessarily means flow of air in or out. So inflation here means strictly increase in the lung volume or size and deflation decrease in the lung volume or size. Expansion of the lung, shrinking of the lung. And if you know the basic math, you know what increase in tra uh, transpulmonary pressure. Any increase in the alveolar pressure or decrease in the intrapleural pressure will lead to increase in the transpulmonary pressure. And the opposite is true, which means any decrease in the alveolar pressure or increase in the uh, intrapleural pressure will lead to decrease in the transpulmonary pressure and the results of this will be as we just discussed right here.